K9 RMR. K9 RMR. Thank you. Um, also have uh, K9 
K9RVP and 9JFH and K9RMR. Do we have any other short timers, please? Give it another try, please. Audio. I don't know whether you don't have your uh, tone turned on or because you sound like you're getting into the repeater okay, but I'm not hearing any audio whatsoever. I'm going to give it one more try and uh, check to see if your tone's turned on. And after a while, um, certainly you can call in uh, anytime during the net. One more call for short timers and then we're going to move on to regular. We're going to move on to regular check-ins, and we're going to take stations that have suffixes beginning with the letters Alpha through Hotel. It's the first call in your call sign following the number. That would be your suffix. The first letter, Alpha through Hotel. Kilo Golf, Niner Delta Kilo, that's KG9DK. John, checking in. Good evening, Joe. Good evening, Joe, from N9CJT, November 9, Charlie, Juliet, Tango. KG9DK, John, N9CJT, Noel. Any others, Alpha, through Hotel. Romeo, please. WE9MI, Whiskey Echo 9, Mike, India, Mike, Bartholomew County. Alphabet. Sierra through Zulu, please. 89, Uniform Oscar Delta, Kino. Kino, I think I got you right. Kilo Delta 9, Uniform Oscar Delta. Uh, any others? Let's take the entire alphabet. And we'll take the list that we have right now. We've got our short timers. Uh, Confirmed, and they're certainly willing, uh, welcome to stick around or secure as so desired. Um, we'll go back to the top of this list, the short list so far, and go to KG9DK. Good evening, John. Good evening, Joe. I don't have a lot to add tonight. I'm looking forward to the promised 70 degrees tomorrow. Also, I'm trying to do two things or one other thing while I'm talking on the mic, and that is pay attention to my SWR meter. It seemed like I, I want to do that every time, and I, forgot, I forget to look at it while I'm talking. So I'm currently doing two things at once. I could probably add, chew, add chewing gum if I had a stick of gum, but uh, that's probably enough for one time. This is KG9DK. Uh, back to you, Joe. Okay, very good, John. Well, I'm assuming that you must have a decent SWR because you always have a good signal. Um, and uh, I know even on uh, when we do our simplex net, um, you're always the loudest. <laughs> so, um, N9CJT, Noel, good evening. Your turn. Good evening, Joe. I uh, just want to thank you for making the ham test announcement you did earlier. Appreciate that. Saves me my breath. Uh, don't have much else this evening. Just looking forward to everybody on Saturday. N9CJT, back to net control. Okay, very good. Thanks, Noel. Yep, I um, remembered and I thought, well, um, if you had jumped in there, I was going to just let you do it. But uh, since you didn't, I went ahead with it. And, uh, yeah, if you're around after the net, um, I'd like to have a short IF with you. Uh, we could always go simplex or something, but if you're around, I'll give you a call. Roger that. Uh, let me throw in also, it's good to hear Kino checking in. And I see JT back to net. Yeah, that's great. That is good. It's great. Um, He's been pretty, pretty uh, regular ever since he got his ticket, uh, and that's wonderful. Uh, next up, WE9MI. Mike, good evening. K9OP, 
Gabriel from W9MI. Good evening, Joe, and everybody on the net. Uh, nothing super exciting. Did uh, get a chance to play on uh, HF this weekend. Um, read a, I forget where it was, but I saw something where it said that there was a good 15 meter opening, and I jumped on and uh, uh, actually started out on 10 meter for whatever reason. And uh, Made about uh, 20 contacts on single sideband uh, telephone from from Argentina to Australia and and kind of everywhere in between. So uh, that was that was kind of fun. Hadn't uh, that was the first opening on 10 meters I've been able to work. So got uh, a lot of uh, contacts. So anyway, um, looking forward to Saturday and did have one question and maybe uh, if you don't mind a third wheel on your IF after I can uh, stick around and ask that because it's uh, mostly uh, Joe and or Noel question. So that's it. Uh, with that, I will turn it back to net control. 7-3 everyone. Uh, W9MI. Very good. Hey, the more the merrier. Um, we'll, we'll have a little how after the net and uh, get everything figured out. Thanks, Mike. Congratulations. I don't think I've gotten Australia on, I know I haven't, on, on 10 meters. Um, 10 meters is amazing when it opens. Um, it, it's sort of like a door. It's either open or it's closed. It, it, it doesn't stay halfway, usually. But we're getting into that period now where we're going to see more of that, I think. KD9, UOD, Uniform Oscar Delta, Kino, good evening. Welcome. Your turn. Uh, good evening, everybody. No, I have nothing to report, but I am looking for the hand test, and I'll probably start picking you guys' brains about my next future setup. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Well... It'll be great to see you and everybody. It's going to be, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's been a long time, and uh, I think everybody, I think we're all ready to get out there and have a little bit of fellowship going on, maybe play with some toys and maybe buy a few things. Who knows? This is KA9OPL at the bottom of the current list, so we will stand by. Do we have additional check-ins for the net this evening? Please call. K9LMR, I just wanted to check to see if the, the price for the ham fest was uh, still $5. who it was. Um, give it one more try, and maybe if we have any relays uh, after that, give it another try. Let's see if we get you this time. Please, this is K9OPL. Again. Um, one last call before we call it a net. Uh, this is K9OPL standing by with the South Central Area Net. Uh, this is K9RMR. Uh, uh, Joe, I was just wondering if the, probably had a question for Noel, uh, if the, the fee for the ham fest is still $5 or what the prices were. I thought it was $5, but I just wanted to make sure. M9CJT. Hey, there you go, Randall. Alrighty, I want to thank all of you. Uh, I'll call it, uh, 19 minutes this evening, and um, we'll stand by in just a, just a second here for the uh, informals. This is K9OPL. Thanks all. Look forward to seeing you all on Saturday. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do at the uh, Simplex Fellowship Net this Friday, since a lot of people will be running around out at the fairgrounds. I guess if you have radios and want to try to try to talk while you work, we can do that. But. Um, in any event, um, of course, tomorrow night we have the BC Aries net. Thursday night, Scott's um, Aries net as well. At 8 o'clock, I will be uh, net control for the Indiana Statewide D-Star net. Those
those of you who have D-Star equipment, shake off the dust and turn the thing on. Let's get going with it. <laughs> um, it's always fun. We've been getting some check-ins from all over the country, so it, it's starting to, to grow a little bit on that net. Good evening, all. This is K9OPL. Um, I want to stand by for a second, and then we'll do our IF. 73s, everybody. We'll see you Saturday or Friday or on other nets. N9CJT, K9RMR. Hear that? G90K, Joe, all I see on my display is a very, very uh, strong peak, but no audio. Yeah, I heard just a tiny bit of audio. It almost sounded like Jimmy, but I couldn't tell for sure. Roger that. At one time, I did hear, like you said, about a syllable, syllable, and that's about it. This is K9RMR. Can you hear me now? This is Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo, repeat. This is K9RMR, uh, testing 1, 2, 3. Can you guys hear me now? Heard you that time, Randall. Okay, I was just, uh, I didn't know, maybe it, for some reason it wasn't coming in. Um, all I heard Noel say was his call sign. I didn't hear an answer to the question. So, I was, uh, again, I was just wondering uh, if the price was $5 for everybody or there was, like, a discount for, like, seniors or kids or whatever. Just want to, want to know what the price, if the price was $5 or what the deal was. position you're hardly in there but yeah I had answered it's five it is five dollars uh, no old answer and I confirmed so it is five dollars over okay I, I don't know why I'm not getting through maybe it's just the weather or something uh, I'm in the same place I normally am so uh, maybe it's just the weather I don't know anyway oh okay, thanks for uh, thanks for the info appreciate it uh, k9 OPLs k9 RMR uh, 73 Uh, N9CJT W9MI. I'm going to QSY to the 440 repeater. Mike, does that work for you? N9CJT. I guess so. N9CJT clear. Alright, evening, Joe. Again. N9CJT here. Okay, well, since I called this. Um, I'll, I guess I can start here. Um, I just wanted to, well, a couple of things. Um, suggestions on, uh, I, I think you had asked me, Noel, if I could um, at least have the repeater in the monitor mode and, and announce uh, the, uh, the sort of the talk in, whatever of that we have on Saturday for the uh, the ham fest, and I'm not exactly sure how to do that from there, um, antenna-wise and stuff, but we could maybe have a short discussion on that. And the other thing is I can get the bus to take me out there uh, Saturday morning. I'm going to have to scrounge a ride back from one of you guys. Um, but the strange thing about the bus getting me out there is they're not allowed to take me past Southside School, which is, I guess, right across the road, uh, because after that you're really outside of the uh, the, the uh, city, I guess. So it's strange things that happen. But So if I do that, I'm going to have to see if I can get somebody to watch out for me about quarter to seven and uh, rescue me from the, uh, across the road. Anyway, I'll let you start, Noel. This is K9OPL. K9OPL in the group, N9CJT. Uh, you're raising a good question, Joe, and in previous years, uh, back when Scotty was still alive, we simply put up an antenna and a radio and a power supply 
uh, he brought the radio and the power supply, and I think later on in his reign, he did even bring an antenna. Um, but, of course, that's water under the bridge now. Um, I don't know how well the... Uh, the radio was hitting from inside the building. I don't remember that, quite honestly. Do you? And 9 ctt uh, That's the thing. I think it's a little bit spotty, but it might work. Um, I actually was going to bring my old HTX 420 just for fun and bring my, my large battery so that I wouldn't have to worry about AC power. Um, and it should get out but I could bring I could bring a, a J pole if some if we can hang it someplace or something like that. Um, so I don't know, I guess I could do that and we could try it and see what happens. K nine RMR. K nine RMR. Yep, we already said go ahead. Do you copy us? Okay, I think I, I think there's a little bit of delay of when you push the button down or when you talk. Or I'm not getting it all all the time. Uh, I was just gonna say that uh, I've had my the one I'm using now, my hand up, my Kenwood uh, THD 74A out there, and uh, I don't know about inside the building, but outside of the building was no problem at all. And uh, inside the, if I remember correctly, inside the building wasn't much of a problem either, so, uh, uh, I can definitely say when you're outside, it's not a problem, and I, if I remember correctly, being inside the building wasn't much of a problem either, so, uh, as far as hitting the repeater, so, uh, I just thought I'd throw that out there for you, um, Okay, yeah, I did notice there seems to be a little bit of delay. I don't know why that would be with the system right now. I have to cycle this repeater maybe again and uh, make sure it's doing okay. Um, okay, well, I, I think we're just going to have to try it out and see. Um, anyway, back to you, Noel, um, and also... Why don't we turn it over to you, Mike, because you had something as well, and, and if anybody wants to comment on... Um, if anybody could be on the lookout for me and when I show up Saturday morning. But go ahead, Mike, WE9MI. This is KE9OPL in the group. KE9OPL in the group from WE9MI. Um, random thing that popped into my head as we were working on the uh, tickets, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that it is five bucks because that's what I put on all the tickets. Um, but uh, do we have a drawing drum? Or does someone have access to one that we can use, or do we just use a big jar, or how do we how do we work that? W nine MI. CJT. Who has headed up the Hamfest for many years is bringing a whole bunch of stuff out Friday night, and I think that's one of the things included. I'm not sure it's a drum; it may just be a, a big plastic box. But in any case, um, he's done drawings from whatever, um, and it's worked quite well the uh, past many years, and uh, yeah, I think he still has that. Okay, very good, thanks. Um, and I think that's all I had, so uh, appreciate it, and we'll uh, look forward to seeing both of you. Um, and, and Joe, on your, your first point, um, I'm I'm happy to drive you home uh, at the end of the day, and uh, not that I can always hear my cell phone when it goes off, but uh, I'd be happy to to come get you or kind of watch for the bus and see see where it stops and head that way. Um, either way, we'll uh, we'll make it work. Just let me know. W9MI, thanks. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I. I was going to see if I could get a ride out there with somebody, but I know there's going to be so much going on that time of the morning. I thought if I could get the bus out there, then I would do that and at least um, get myself out there. 
It looks like I can, but <laughs> in fact, it was funny when I called in and uh, she said she'd had the check and she came back and she was kind of giggling and said, this is silly, but we could take you to the school and we can't take you over to the fairgrounds. So I, I said, yeah, that is kind of silly, but okay. <laughs> um, okay. Back to you, Noel, if you have anything else. Using it uh, for most people anyway. So I don't see a problem there. You'll have your cell phone with you, right? Yeah, that's affirmative. I'll actually, of course, have the radio with me, too, and a 20-amp-hour and a, uh, battery. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll have my phone, so I could, um, I could either uh, text or call. Either of you guys, I guess. Well, why don't you have us both on speed dial because I have no idea what I'm going to be able to hear in that building as everybody's loading in either. Oh, yeah. I got you both in my uh, phone book, so no problem there. Okay. Well, I just kind of want to alert people because um, now it's possible that um, the driver, um, without telling anybody, might very well walk me across the road, but it depends on who's driving. Most of them don't obey the rules uh, any more than I do, so um, they might take me across, in which case I'll only have to get somebody's attention to find my rest of the way to the building. Okay, very good, guys. Um, I think I'll just bring a, I'll bring a J-pole with that, that little radio. I don't want to really bring my this one, the 71A, I don't think it's necessary to bring a whole setup out there, but um, it'll either hit the repeater or it won't. So um, we'll see what happens, but I'll bring a decent antenna. K9OPL, um, anyone else has anything? Um, go ahead, please. Nothing from here, 10-9-CJT. Thanks, Joe. And the group. This is um, say 73 for now, and uh, look forward to uh, the rest of the week and Saturday morning. Um, ought to be a good time. I'll be clear. At least this repeater's working. Good idea to use it, Noel. We don't get enough usage on this thing. Give it a uh, remote test. So, everybody, the repeater is going to go offline for just a couple of seconds. This is K9OPL. 89 RPB. Oh, okay. Before I do that, hello there, Bruce. KD9 RPB. Yeah, I was listening to you guys. Um, Joe, if it'd be easier, I have a FT89 or 8800 in my shed I'm not using. It's already set up, and I can throw it in my truck uh, with the battery, uh, a portable battery, that is. And. Um, and I've got a J-pole I can bring, so if you want, I can just throw everything in there, and you don't have to even worry about bringing any of your stuff if you don't want to. Well, if that's something you don't mind doing, um, you'll have to show me how to uh, operate it, or the, well, as long as you get on frequency and I can transmit, I guess we're in good shape. Um, I assume that's got more power anyway. How much power is that thing put out? sure off the top of my head. I know it's at least 25, but it could be up to 50. Okay, well, that's more than the 5 watts I was going to bring anyway, so, yeah. I mean, if you don't mind doing that, then, okay, that'd be great. Hey, um, you'll probably be able to get it, depending on what time you're going to be there. If you're going to be there early, you probably have it set up even before I get there. Yeah, there's you know, I can bring it with us Friday night so we can pretty much get it all staged, and then all we have to do is turn it on. And uh, as far as getting across the street, we have scouts that can help you across the street with no problem. Okay, yeah, I didn't know if they were going to be there bright and early Saturday morning or not, but uh, okay, hey, looks like I'll have plenty of, uh, plenty of assistance there, but you know, you have to ask and be prepared. Um, at least I, I don't like to do things without being somewhat prepared. So 
Thanks a lot. I appreciate that, Bruce. KD9RPB, KD9OPL. KD9RPB, I'm 73, and I'll be clear. All right, 73 is my friend. I'll see you Saturday, KD9OPL. Anybody else? I'm going to go ahead otherwise and um, do a um, remote shutoff test on this repeater, which I like to do every so often. But anybody else? This is K9OPL. Kemper, 